If you want to learn how to start a YouTube channel that generates thousands of pounds every single month in passive income without even making a video or even showing your face, then you're going to want to stay tuned. So the fact that you're here already probably means you already know what our YouTube cash cow channel is and the methods of how to make one. If you don't, I have a whole playlist on how to make one up here somewhere. Go click that, check out the videos and you can start today. So there are hundreds of niches to choose from when you decide to start a YouTube cash cow channel. And today I'll be showing you one of my personal favorites, which doesn't include getting in front of a camera, showing your face, or even recording your own voice. So today we're gonna to be using Reddit to create our content. So whether you're a seasoned Redditor or whether you've never used Reddit before, it doesn't really matter. First, let me show you an example of someone that's already using this method and is generating over $10,000 a month in passive income. So as you can see, this channel was only created just over a year ago and already has 930 videos uploaded. There is only two ways in which this many videos can be made in so little time. One, the videos are super easy and super quick to produce. And two, they're outsourcing the production to somebody else. Whether or not they're outsourcing, the production of these videos is completely irrelevant at this point, as you'll see that the production value of these videos is that low that the cost of having them made would be next to nothing. So minimal to the point where I bet you could teach your grandma how to make these videos in 24 hours. So these videos are purely made up of screenshots from posts that are on Reddit that are either really popular or really controversial and have an AI voiceover placed over the top. It really is that simple. So you're not gonna need any snazzy or expensive video editing software to edit videos like this. So you can use something free like HitFilm Express or you can use something like I would, like Adobe Rush or Adobe Premiere Pro, which you can get in a subscription for less than $10 a month. And when it comes to the audio, you can either go for the free option and record the audio yourself, or you can do what I do on some of my Cash Cow channels and use an AI voice engine that'll take loads of time and effort out of your workflow. The one that I recommend, I will leave a link in the description below. I think it only costs around $40 for an entire lifetime subscription and it will save you so much time and effort. Now I'm gonna jump into my computer and show you a very, very quick tutorial of how to put one of these videos together. Okay, so to get started, we'll first load up our editing software of choice. Today I'm gonna to be going for Adobe Premiere Rush. So we'll create a new project and just for the video, I will call this Reddit Test and we'll just select one of these for now and press create and what that does is that will put the video into there we'll delete that because it's not the actual video we want we can select up here and just drag and drop in any assets that we want to have in the video so to get some assets the first thing i would say to do is to go up here click your little windows key if you're on windows and select snipping tool you can just type snipping tool into the search bar and it will come up it's on every Windows PC. And as you can see, you've got a little thing here that says new. You click that, you like hover over something, and there we go. We can basically just file, save as, and it'll save that little snippet that I've uh, taken there as a photo. And that's essentially what we're gonna be doing on Reddit to get people's responses and merge them into a video. Right, let's head over to Reddit. Obviously, you can make this on whatever Reddit topic you want r slash ask reddit is quite a hot subreddit for this sort of thing as you see here we can select from new top what's hot what's top today what's top this week etc etc and these will be ranked in how much karma they have so how popular they are as you can see this one here has thirteen and a half thousand comments so if you were to make a video based on this you would have a lot to go on right let's have a look for an example this one here. So this one would be, you would title your video something like, we asked Reddit, who is the biggest troll in history? As you see, it's got 11 and a half thousand comments. So we can go into here. And for the start of the video, we'd make some sort of custom thumbnail, or we could just do something as simple as go into our snipping tool, select new, get that like that, file, save, save that as Reddit one. There we go. And so now here we can look at some of the replies. So these are the replies that we would be copy and pasting into the video and doing a quick voiceover on. So again, we would grab that and we would save it as 
and we'd go with Reddit R2. So that, I'm sorry, R1. So that would be Reddit response one, and then you do response two, response three, response four. And then when you use your voice software, you can make the clips one by one and call it Reddit R1, Reddit R2, Reddit R3, etc. And it's really easy to start building the timeline of how to build the video. So this isn't actually going to be a video that I'm going to be doing. So for example, we'll just go down here now and we'll just get a few more of these. Save as, great response to, you sort of get the idea now. So we'll head back into Rush. Let me just add the files in here. There we go, we'll add the files into Rush there and we'll drop them down into the video. So what we want to start with is who is the biggest troll in history? And it's just as simple as making that bigger, putting it there, and then you would do the same with the responses, make it a bit longer, depending on how much text there is, like this one here, for example, you'd want this clip to be quite a bit longer, as there's a lot more text for you to read out. And that's it. So what you could do is, when it comes to this clip here, you could record your own audio, or like I say, you can use the software which makes the text into voice. And then it would just save the clip as whatever the name of this asset is. And you would add it into here and drag it in. For the purpose of this video, I will just show you how to record straight into the video. So as you see down here, you can target the track for recording. You would click the little track down here. The guy who opened a fake number one restaurant in London using Google reviews and his back garden. Right, so as you see there, the audio went on for a little bit longer, so you could just drag that over there. And then this one here. The good thing about this is if you use this feature, it goes back, counts you down from three, and like I will show you here. Two, one. He did this to prove that TripAdvisor was a load of when it comes to recommendations, because the restaurants could fake their way to the top. And there we have it. So now if we play this back. The guy who opened a fake number one restaurant in London using Google reviews and his back garden. He did this to prove that TripAdvisor was a load of when it comes to recommendations, because the restaurants could fake their way to the top. And that is literally how simple it is to put these videos together. Obviously what you could do is you could get a bit of intermission video from somewhere like Pexels and drop it in the middle between the clips. You can add transitions, you can speed things up, you can even play around with the volume. You can have it on here so it would recognize voice. You could enhance your speech to be a lower pitch. It can remove the background noises and we could even go here and speed the clip up. So play that back. He did this to prove that TripAdvisor was a load of when it comes to recommendations because the restaurants could fake their way to the top. There you go. So not less something that you would necessarily use there, uh, but you get the general gist of it. And then when your video is fully built, you can just go up here to file, share, and you can export it to your documents here, ready to import to YouTube. It's literally that simple. So that's all for this video guys. If you do have any questions at all, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be updated every time I post. And remember, if you do leave a comment below, I do reply to each and every single comment. Until next time, keep hustling.